While many of my friends were reading and listening to fairy tales, I was visiting the very castle that inspired the stories. While my friends were playing house in their toy kitchens, I was actively harvesting crops at a farm. While my friends were feeling secure in their friend groups from childhood, I moved to a new country with a whole new language system. Here's the story of my life. Welcome. My name is Hyun Ru, and I'm glad you're here. I was a traveler at a young age. Well, not by choice, but the life and place for my dad allowed me to see more than what my friends back home would have been able to experience by that age. As a result, I've always been intrigued by the unique history of places and how a place can be a critical part of a person's story. If you ask my mom, she would say Switzerland is her favorite place because she felt the closest to nature there. And my dad would probably agree as he always does. For me, it would be the playground in front of our apartment at Bad Zoda in Germany, where I was mesmerized by the nature surrounding me in my infamous red shoes. The German grandmas were obsessed with my dark hair and dark eyes. Soon we became friends despite our inability to communicate. After being a traveler for several years, I became a farmer. I lived with my grandparents on a rural farm in South Korea, and we spent most of our time helping elderly neighbors with farm work, cooking, bathing, or keeping them company during cold, lonely winter nights. Fast forwarding to fifth grade, I became an immigrant, and perhaps a title that scared me the most. Being the only foreigner at my school, I looked visibly different from my peers, and the language barrier certainly did not make it any easier. I remember hiding my kindergarten level books deep in my backpack because it was more evidence of how different I was from everyone else. I was vulnerable, insecure, and felt alone. However, I found community service when I realized my abilities to connect with people were not limited to a specific place. It is usually common practice that you must find a place that feels safe and near to your heart, whether that be a place around campus or a specific city you feel drawn to. For me, I noticed that I felt most safe when I was around people through service. I've been playing piano since I was six years old, so it was the perfect avenue for me to utilize that skill to form connections. I soon started to travel between nursing homes, assisted living places, and daycares to perform and began to fill my days with different tones of laughter. Years later, I became a college student, a title that holds different meanings for each of us. During a program called Finding Your Place, I was told to find my favorite tree and claim it as my own. There, I was supposed to rest, study, meditate, and be myself. Well, unfortunately, all the trees looked the same to me, and I lacked that special connection that everyone else seemed to have easily grasped. I felt disconnected from the campus. Then I found the Bonner Canale program through my interest in the diabetes prevention program during my sophomore year. My personal history with diabetes has caught my eye, and I wanted to connect my interests with community work. So I became an education fellow, and the pandemic hit. The year after, when Nika and I became site leaders for the program, we realized that our previously utilized model was no longer the best practice for us through the pandemic. We had to get creative with the limits that were in place without compromising the depth of our work. We analyzed data from previous years to determine the strengths and weaknesses of the program and decided to redesign the program from the bottom up to better deliver our intentions and goals to our community partners. Long story short, we couldn't think of an answer. So we decided to ask our community members. The goal was to deliver the best diabetes management styles and it can be extremely difficult when we do not share the same experience as them. We needed to know what their experiences are like in order to meet them where they are and support them in the given scenarios. With the help of Birchba Springs Medical Clinic, we launched a novel needs assessment research project. We worked closely with IRB to ensure the safety of our community members and started asking our diabetic patients about their needs. We looked at their baseline knowledge of diabetes, what it means to be diabetic, and how their life has been living with diabetes. Through this research, we gathered, analyzed, and considered ways to incorporate their insights into our program. Most importantly, we were connecting again through sharing of stories, laughter, and tears. We were learning from our community members and perhaps that was our missing piece. We were listening to their needs and it was truly inspiring. But we didn't stop there. We wanted to share with our patients what we have gathered and how their input has been valuable to us in the program. 
So we collaborated with the Birchba Springs Medical Clinic to begin diabetes education classes. We gathered Tuesday evenings, shared diabetic-friendly meals together, and slowly they began to modify their lifestyles in a positive direction. We found a community amongst ourselves. I became a good neighbor. Through the Bonner Canale program in the Office of Medical and Health Professions, I also worked as a medical intern at the Christian Celebrating God's Bounty Clinic. The majority of the patient population at the clinic is also diabetic, and I saw the significance of the diabetes prevention work I do through the diabetes prevention program. All the experience combined to create a better picture of what our work is for and who will be benefiting from it. To bring everything together, my life is a collection of stories and experiences I've learned and shared with people. My identity and sense of place are defined by the notion of sharing, a continuous process of intentional giving and receiving, which has sculpted me to become who I am and who I'll become in the future. From being a traveler to a farmer, then a college student and now a good neighbor, I'm excited to see who I become and who I'll meet next. As long as I have my people around me, I'll be exactly where I need to be, and I thank my friends, mentors, and community partners for establishing the notion of place for me. Now, if you ask me about my favorite tree around campus, I'll probably respond, the nearest tree around us, witnessing our lovely conversations right now. Thank you.